Hello, my name is Taylor and I am so excited to be showing you the Monarch Money Budgeting app. I have been using this app for about a year now for my own personal finances, but I have also been helping over 30 households in the last few months implement this budgeting app for them to monitor their cash flow and their progress towards their goals. So I'm a financial coach. I help my clients create budgets, create cash flow systems to pay off debt, save more money, and to spend more money on what they value most to that what whatever makes them happiest. And so I have a lot of experience with this app that I would love to share with you the best features that I have used, that my clients have used. Uh, it's a great one. So who is this app for? I really do believe it's for everyone. I know that sounds really cliche, but it, it really is for everyone. It is very user friendly. It's completely customizable. It can be used in any way that you want to use a budgeting app. So if you really like diving into the numbers, doing the strategy, uh, playing around with different scenarios, this app is for you. If you like to take a passive look, if you like to just make sure you're on track for the month, maybe check in a few times to see how you're spending compares to last month or track your net worth, this app is for you. It can be as passive or active as you want it to be. And so I and I just I just love it. It's it's a perfect mix I feel like between Mint and YNAB. I feel like they took the best features of both of those apps and created something even better. So, I'd love to show you. Let's dive in uh, and take a look at the at Monarch Money. So this is the dashboard. You have the ability to customize this dashboard to see anything you want, to rearrange what you're going to see, turn on and off uh, certain uh, areas that you don't really care about. Uh, so it's super helpful to kind of just get a bird's eye view of everything that is going on in your financial picture. It's very easy to add bank accounts. It will pull in all the data for like the last year of your bank accounts. Sometimes so depending on the accounts, this can be a year, it can be a few months. Uh, depending on the institution, I mean. So when you go to add your bank account, uh, very simple, you'll just log in through the app. You can also move your data from Mint to Monarch. That's super possible. Uh, so you don't lose any of the tracking that you've been doing in your other budgeting apps. So you'll see all of your bank accounts all in one place. You can get a really good idea of your net worth by adding the value of your home, adding your mortgage, vehicle values, loans, all that stuff and see this in both a monthly, yearly, and quarterly perspective. So then the next we have transactions. Uh, your transactions can be categorized uh, very in detail or in as many as little detail as you want. You can completely customize your categories and that grouping that the categories are coming in. So you can see you have housing, bills and utilities, food and dining. You can change all of these. You can have less groups, more groups. You can have whatever groups you want. You can even change the little emoji that is representing the category for uh, that section. And so, Again, super, super customizable. And I'm gonna show you really quickly how you're going to do that. You're going to go into your settings and then go into categories and you can change again, groupings uh, or the category itself, change the emoji, it's awesome. So what you are, what a lot of my clients do with the categories is they set up one section. So one of these groupings to be fixed expenses, all of your bills. So everything that is going to come out no matter what. And then we have another section that is more behavior driven. It's going to be the choices that you're making, are going to be uh, things that you can really control. So this is going to be your food, travel, uh, shopping, personal expenses, fun money, entertainment, all those things. Those are behavior driven choices that you have to make. And so we like to group those together so that you can see uh, easier, you can get an easier view of what you have to spend, what you can be spending the money on guilt free or what you need to be pulling back um, according to your goals and values. So the other uh, category I like to set with my clients is savings category. So things that you don't necessarily need every single month. So it can be travel, um, sometimes personal care. You don't get a haircut maybe every month, maybe it's every few months or um, gifts for people. We probably don't have a gift every month. Uh, Christmas, holidays, special occasions, all of those things can be like savings categories uh, that you can use in this app. And so just a little tidbit about categories there. But the thing that you can do with the transactions is you can add a lot of detail to these. So it does show you what account it came from, the date, category, you can attach it to a goal if you'd like. Um, you can leave a note. So when my clients are spending on Amazon, I encourage them to leave notes about what is the thing that they bought on Amazon because we all know that, that can get a little crazy. We don't know where it actually went, right? Tags, you can change uh, and add tags as much as you want. The cool thing about this one is the mark and need review. So if you are using this as a couple, 
in a household. This is so, so perfect for couples. This app is just amazing for a household. So you both have your own login. You can add them to the household. They have their own login. They can see everything. They can add everything. Now, when you mark a category's needs review, you can have it reviewed by someone. So if you see that there's an Amazon purchase, you have no idea what it is. It's probably your partner's expense. You can mark it as need review. So you can remind them, hey, you need to go review this and categorize it appropriately. Super, super awesome. And you can even change like your view of like, hey, I'm going to look at all the things that I need that have been assigned to me to categorize. You can do that and just view all the ones that you need to review. Another thing for my business owner clients, uh, receipts and attachments you can add here. You can actually just take a photo of the receipt from your phone because the app is super, super good. Uh, I'm showing you guys the desktop today. I can do an app in the future videos if you'd like, but the app is great and you can just take a photo of the receipt as you're out and uh, you're good to go. So again, super helpful for business owners and amazing features for couples. So uh, all of these transactions are going to come in automatically as long as you link your bank accounts and it does get more and more intuitive to use this uh, as, as you go. And I wanna show you what I mean by that. So when you change a category, you are going to have a pop-up. Let's just change this to, uh, I don't know, fun money at Home Depot, right? <laughs> um, it's gonna sh ask you, do you wanna create a rule about this? And you're gonna say, yes, I wanna create a rule. And there's so many options to create rules around your transactions. You can do it by the, uh, the merchant, the amount, uh, if it's a certain category, or the account that it came from. It can change what category you want it to go to. So a really common one, the one that I love with the amount one is like gas station purchase purchases. If you spend over $40 at the gas station, it's probably gas, it's probably safe to go in gas. However, if you, sp if you spend less than $10, you might have went in for a snack, right? Uh, a little candy or something. So you might want to have, if the expense is less than you know $10, it goes to food and dining kind of type categories. Uh, so really it just, this app can get just easier and easier to use. It just, it, the more and the more rules you set up, the more intuitive it gets, the less you need to come in and change categories, make updates. It really, again, just gets easier and easier. All right, so now we're going to jump into the cash flow section here. As you can see, you can uh, look at this from monthly, quarterly, and yearly, and you get a really good view of income that, you know, money that came in, money that went out, your savings, and then your savings rate. Your savings rate is the foundation of your financial health. It is the key to what, uh, how fast you're going to achieve your financial goals. And so it's really cool that you get to see that very quickly. Um, you can also see your expenses by category, by grouping, or by where, who, who are you paying? Where is all your money going? Uh, you can see that very easily in these charts here. Super nice, super awesome. You get a lot of data very quickly. Now, this is the budgeting feature. This is where you're kind of doing the planning, seeing where you're at, seeing how you're tracking this column right here. You can set your budget to whatever you need it to be set to. Now, the thing I love about Monarch is that you can group by category, as you can see here. Uh, you can group it by uh, this overall grouping rather than by every single category like you can see down here. It, uh, so if you like to see like kind of overall numbers rather than budgeting uh, every single category, you can do that. Uh, and then the other thing I really love is that it also shows you the average. It also shows you the last three months of what you spent in that particular category and what your average is. This is super useful as you create a budget. I cannot stress this enough because you cannot set a budget uh, without knowing what you've been spending money on. You don't want to set a budget for 80% less than what you've been spending money on without a very clear plan of how you're going to do that. A common one for my clients that they're trying to cut back on is dining out. But if they went from spending $700 a month in dining out and they wanna spend $90 a month dining out, that's a huge difference. That is a huge change in lifestyle. You have to be cooking a lot more. You have to be prepping food a lot more, changing your grocery shopping habits. You have to be saying no to friends and family who want to go out to dinner. Big, big deal. And so you want to be careful when you, you know, so that way you don't set yourself up for failure because that's what happens is you set that category up for $90. You never hit that. You hate budgeting. It sucks and you never go back to it again. And so it's really cool that you can see what you've been spending money on and it allows you to see like, hey, maybe my budget is unrealistic or 
I'm not, I don't have a big enough budget for this. Like we need to change this. We need to change categories around. We need to, you know, either decrease other expenses or make more money in order to make this happen. And so Monarch Money allows you to do that and strategize very, very well. It is the feature I probably use the most with my clients is seeing like, hey, where are we actually at? Is this budget realistic? Are you happy with this budget? It's it's phenomenal that way. And for my business owning clients, uh, you can forecast. So if you are working on variable income or maybe you get commissions or even just bonuses that you get, um, you can plan when you're going to get those. You can put your in different incomes at different months. Uh, same with expenses. If you have different expenses at Christmas, uh, you know, a holiday shopping um, or Thanksgiving, like we're uh, kind of getting into, and then like uh, back to school shopping, uh, all of those things you can add in here so you can stay on top of them. They're not going to blindside you. You need to plan ahead for, you know, birthdays, vacations, all that stuff can be forecasted and planned out, which I, I really love that feature of Monarch. So we're gonna go into the recurring expenses now. The recurring is a way you can see your in a calendar view, everything that you have coming up, all your bills, subscriptions. You might see some things that you're like, hey, why am I still paying for that? That totally happens when you sign up with Monarch. You will probably find some things that you did not know you're paying for, especially if you haven't been using budgeting apps in the past. I can almost guarantee it. So you wanna make sure, hey, as all my money going out and scheduled, it's the way it needs to be. The other thing I love about Monarch is this vision board type goal tracking. You have a progress bar here, and in this case it's kind of full, but you do have a progress bar for where uh, you are at in each of your goals. And what's really cool is that you can change the image of all of your goals uh, to whatever you want. You can change, if you have a vacation coming up and you wanna change it to Hawaii, you can totally do that. Uh, and I, I, it's just really motivating and you can see what accounts and how much is in the account. You can assign the, what accounts are you know, related to that goal. So if you have an account related for specifically travel fund, you can attach it to this goal and you can see how much is in there for this travel, uh, for this particular trip. Super easy to see all of that data. And then finally, you have an investment dashboard. You can add your investments in there. If you have any brokerage accounts or anything like that, you can put them in here and you can track this all in one place. Just really comprehensive visual of everything that is going on in your financial life. Now, last things I want to go to are just some of the settings. The, the uh, preferences that you can set are like the how things are actually working inside Monarch. You can also change how your notifications are coming in. There's lots of different options for notifications and some uh, customization for those notifications. You can add household members. So like when I was talking about for families, you can add your uh, partner into this so they can be involved in your budgeting process. You can also add your financial advisor. So that is what I do with my clients is I am actually in their budgeting app. I can take over and help them categorize transactions, play with things, kind of help them relieve the burden of the technology side of things. I can help mess with the app and set this all up for them. That's how I do it. And so you can give access to your financial advisor um, as long for my clients, I have full access, not just the seven days. And so I actually pay for the app as long as they're working with me, which is another plus to having a financial coach helping you set everything up. Um, but again, there's just a lot of really cool uh, features that you have as well as a referral program. So once you sign up, you can kind of start inviting your friends and family and getting some discounts um, on the budgeting app. So I also have my referral link. If you would like for the extended free trial, you're welcome to use it. It's in the description of this video you're happy to, you're welcome to use that if you would like. This app is normally $100 a year or about $15 a month, I believe. Uh, and it's absolutely worth it. If you are going to be signing up for a budgeting app, there's not a lot of free options anymore. And I really do think this is going to be an excellent, excellent budgeting app for you if you are just getting into budgeting or if you're transitioning from another app. So that's really it. That's all the really key features. But I do want to tell you that a budgeting app is there to facilitate and allow you to monitor an existing created budget. So if you have been hopping on different apps, trying to find this cure-all solution, you're just thinking none of these are working, my cash flow is not working, it might not be the app. Uh, it may be the budget that you have. Uh, and it might be counterintuitive. You're thinking like, I can't create a budget without an app. Well, that's not true. Um, if you are ha still having struggles, even with the app, uh, making that budget work, it may be something where you need to be figuring out, hey, uh, are, are we really accounting for all of our expenses, not just for the month, but the year's expenses? Do we need a debt payoff plan? Do we need to uh, have clear uh, instructions on how to pay for our goals? And so we can actually meet those. Uh, there's a lot of things that go into creating 
creating a budget and the app is there purely to facilitate the thing you create. And so if you need help creating a budgeting a budget and implementing it into a budgeting app, I would love to help you. I do offer free consultations that you can sign up. We can also chat about Monarch Money. We can chat about creating a budget for you that can work for your family. Uh, again, leave, feel free to leave uh, questions in the comments. I would love to help you. I hope you enjoy this app as much as I have. And uh, I will thank you so much for watching this video.